On the build show today, I want to talk to you about makeup air for your kitchen hoods. Now in older houses, when you installed one of these hoods that has a lot of CFMs on it, when that hood turned on, your house had plenty of air leaking in around windows and doors, around bottom plates, around electrical outlets to make up air that was lost from this. But on a new construction, on a modern build, often we don't have any air leaking in. And that's a good thing. We want a tight envelope. But how do we make sure this fan is actually going to work? We're going to do that by installing makeup air. And this is a killer system that I want to show you right here. What we've got here is a grill right in front of this hood that's connected to a duct that runs to the outside. Now that duct has a damper on it, an electronic damper. So when this turns on, there's a 24 volt relay that runs back and all it's doing is opening that duct up. It's as if we opened a window in the house. But what I like about this is number one, it's putting it in the right spot right here so it can catch those particles from our gas range. All the um, gases, all the heat, all the fumes, the smoke, the smells, it's gonna capture that along with this makeup air and go straight out. But this system has something I haven't done before which I really like. It has a filter on the system as well. You've got a nice four inch pleated filter on there. It could be MERV 11 or MERV 13. It's gonna drop all the pollen, all the nasty stuff that might be in the outdoor air before it sends in. Now most of that is gonna get captured in the hood, but some of that will come into the house. And that's why we wanna put that filter on there. I'll put a link in the description to a couple of the products that we used here today. But the biggest thing that you need to decide before you build is where is this makeup air gonna be located? Now if you've got a hood like this, this, that you can design it in right here. We're just gonna slide our exhaust fan back by two or three inches and put that duct here. If you have a downdraft or if you have another setup, you might consider putting that behind, but that's gonna take some coordination with the builder and the architect ahead of time because you might need that duct to come in from a different place. But by putting it right here where the hood is gonna capture that air and send it right out, that's the perfect place for it. Guys, if you're not a Build Show subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.